Alright, what is going on everybody? My name is Shiller. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about where exactly are all these maps, where are we going, Cold War, and a lot more. I'm going to link Glitching Queen's channel down below because I'm pretty sure she's one of the first ones to really find most of this information, if not all of it. So, let's get on with the video. The picture you guys are looking at right now is a picture of where all the map locations are going to be, or at least we think so. We got Berlin, Germany, we got Vietnam, we got Poland, we got Russia, we got it all, right? Dime Machina takes place in the Ural Mountains in Russia, at least... So we thought. There are a lot of evidence showing that it is placed in the Ural Mountains, but there's some information that came out. Geeky Passengers made a tweet showing that there's this location that resembles the graffiti that's actually in Nocturne and Toten, aka Die Machina, in this current game. Believe it or not, this place is actually located in Tampa Ray, Finland. Now stick with me because this is probably the building that inspired the Cherok devs to create the map Nocturne and Toten. And I'll show you here. There's a couple simulators between this building and Nocturne and Toten. Number one, the building is two stories high, which is exactly what Nocturne and Toten is. Number two, the building is abandoned, and so is Nocturne and Toten. And as I'm showing you right here, this is the graffiti that's in Black Ops Cold War. So there's no doubt in my mind that Treyarch know about this building. They have inspiration from it. This could possibly be the knocked inspiration of what really started the entire zombie storyline. And things get even spicier when they go up the stairs and they turn on the second floor. You see a lot of architecture, a lot of everything that looks exactly like second floor of Nocturne and Toten. It's kind of crazy. You got the door, you got the window, you got it all. Realistically, the pillars look really similar. There's a lot of graffiti like there is in Black Ops Cold War. And this is even the help door on the bottom. This is like, it's almost exactly the same. I'm going to be real. It's kind of crazy. So this kind of leads me to believe that this might actually be the building that realistically inspired the truck devs to create Nocturne and Toten. Now, truck usually gets inspired by real life locations like they did with Buried with the maze, like they did with the biodome and moon, like they did with the Alcatraz Island and Mob of the Dead, like they did with Dorizon Rock with the castle, and many, many more, realistically. Now, I still think that the map, Die Machina, is still located in the Ural Mountains in Russia, but hey, I don't know. Maybe the building is just inspired by this building over in Finland. I don't really know. I think the map's still in Russia. At least for me. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this map is in Finland? Do you guys think it's in Russia? Where do you guys think it is? Anyways, make sure you guys click that subscribe button. I do be posting almost every single day. I try to keep these videos short and straight to the point. That way I don't waste any of you guys' time. And yeah, make sure you guys go check out my Twitch. I'm live almost every single day over there. I will really appreciate that. Now anyways guys, it's Mr. Lair, and I'm out. Peace.